Oh well. I was trying to be too clever by like anticipating where she would go. I feel like I chose the right androids to be able to see that happen. Oh well. On autonomous, manual navigation on. Uh, charged, engaged. Can we see anything here? Hey, Luther. Uh, destination. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? That's right, because he said he could still get Over us a new identity. Captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Hmm. Anything else we can say? Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. She looks like she's okay back there. Just enjoying the ride, right? It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. Walking to that other room and trying to get into the staff room might have cost you the seconds you needed. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Oh, of course. Well, that's inconvenient. I didn't realize it was winter time. This doesn't look good. Because everywhere else that we'd been, I mean, there was no. Don't you think you should shut the door? Okay. But we're not in Canada yet, I don't think, Bang. Maybe we are. We were in Detroit. Which means we were what relatively we close to the border. But where am I walking? Oh, no. <laughs> That's that controller like drift. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Okay. Can we see things? Find shelter. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Cap. Hmm, okay. But well, what about here? There's a map up ahead. Let me go take a look at it. He said one hour left, so not far. That's true. Well, one, one hour by car, you figure... With the snow, being autonomous, maybe it's got, like... Maybe it can, it can figure out the traction necessary to not have accidents. Pirates Cove Amusement Park, welcome. An hour? I wouldn't be driving more than 50. 50 miles per hour. It'd take a bit to walk. How are you doing today, Bang? Pirates Cove. Which seems a little weird. Up in upstate we Michigan. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. It does look like it's been abandoned for a while. Very observant, Lucas. I like that the androids have a sense of urgency enough to kind of walk fast, but not enough to run. Tired, but otherwise fine. Good. I'm sorry you're tired, though. Ah. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Okay. Well, I'm sorry you're dead. Where is the Pirates of the Pancreas ride? This is not, uh, wasn't that, uh, Rick and Morty? Aw, oh, alright, so, not that way. We keep on pressing forward. Anything that direction? No? One would think this that- This place is falling apart. Yeah? That's not very helpful. Be easy to find shelter. Really not helpful, Luther. 
Hmm. Most of these buildings are open. What about this place, though? This looks like an actual building. Maybe we can get in at the end here? But where are the something? Sharks, maybe? It has snow inside, so it's got the hole in the roof. But it might cut down on the wind. We just, we just enter? Wait. Okay, I was gonna say. I'll handle this. At least he's good for something. Here we go. Thanks, Luther. There's gotta be the fake plants, fake trees. Watch about three thousand got this. He he did, yeah. Oh, that's that sucks, Emmy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, USS Iowa missing. American vessel last seen in the Arctic Sea. Okay, because we know that there's been the issue between U.S. and Russia. Canada, where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Discover the landscape, discover the wild, discover Canada. So, American vessel, a destroyer-class submarine, the USS Iowa, has disappeared in polar waters. An inquiry is underway, but President Warren has made no secret of her suspicion that the Russians are behind it. Russian aggression just reached a new level. America must respond. The Kremlin has the yet... Fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Thanks, Luther. The Kremlin has yet to release a statement beyond a blanket denial of any involvement, though Russian diplomat Nobokov pointed out that a U.S. destroyer-class submarine has no business being in the Arctic anyway. Security expert Ben Williams described the situation as a war waiting to start. All Android banned tips for music prize? Oh, come on. Fans scream, traditionalists weep. Cybersecurity experts warn your Android could be hacked. Yeah, we've seen that before. Cure for You, the latest all-Android boy band to be marketed by Detroit record label Digital Harmony, is hotly tipped to scoop best new artists at the Celebrate Music Awards. A public letter jointly signed by a dwindling number of human-only record labels urged Digital Harmony to withdraw the band from consideration at such award ceremonies, citing the erosion of artistic merit in music. But with less than 5% of the music market now produced by human musicians, the call of traditionalists seems to be falling on deaf ears. The spokesperson for the band said, Here for You is all about bringing joy and happiness to their fans. The music is all that matters to them. Ah. Uh. Right, Rosie? I know. They really are out of today's headlines. Thing is, I just don't know. So, like, being a musician, or at least at one point in time, <laughs> one point in time I could call myself more of a musician than I am now, but... I feel like, I mean, I guess people would create just to create, to have that outlet. But I'd be, I'd probably be annoyed. I'd be annoyed because ultimately what's going to happen with an Android is it's just going to be using an algorithm to create pop music. And then that's all that gets pushed out there and you slowly lose creativity. I don't know, though, who knows? Maybe Androids would be programmed to be able to start doing things, you know, more creative. No idea. Then maybe Androids could end up inspiring humans. Hey, Puncher. I guess the real thing is, though, the point at which, it's like Chap GPT, right, where it, it does all the things, it says all the stuff, but really what it is is it's just, it's just information that's already ripped from what people have already said. It's not like it's coming up with its own thoughts, its own, you know, opinions or anything like that. It's just collating information that's already out there. So I don't know if you Alice? had Android musicians, if they'd actually be capable of being creative. They'd just be pulling from everything that already existed. Oh, Alex.
uh, Steam is having a family? Actually, probably not. Do you think we'll be like them someday? I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. Yeah. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. Now, if the androids were deviant, then I could see maybe creativity. Because we saw that with Marcus, right? Marcus actually was able to create something that wasn't just, like, in his programming. So... Check the gun. Offer cookie. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Not hungry for cookies? What? Okay, so we just unlocked the gun. Is there anything else we can do in here? Or is it just talk to Alice? That was the newspaper we read. Oh, there was something on the floor here? Okay, so actually nothing important. What was this? Oh, I didn't even notice that before on the wall. RA9. She's American, she's hungry for having a gun. She's like nine years old. Getting awfully used to sleeping on the floor. Uh Don't worry. Luther and I will be right here. We need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Uh how about unicorn? This is a story about a unicorn that No. Not a story like that. No. Make one up for me. Well, I was gonna make one up about a unicorn. This is a story about a little girl. Hmm. Who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Hmm. She was different. I don't want to be like... Very sad. Too cliche here, but this then, I, I'm going cliche with this. She met a robot who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. Hmm. To escape the shadow that haunted that house, they encountered great dangers along the way, but. They were so brave, they escaped all of them. I think luck <laughs> was maybe Along part of that, too. They met... Santa. A gentle giant. Who promised to protect them. How does the story end? Uh, terribly. It's up to us to write the end of the story, Alice. Time to sleep. It ends in some... We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Indeterminate amount of time in which you then Are pass you away from natural causes. Night, loser? But uh, the androids still live. Yes. Yes, of course.
I wonder how long the androids can last. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. Great. Luther, we need to talk. I don't know what about. I guess maybe where we're going? Or how we're gonna get there. Without a car. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Have you ever heard of RA9? We're just gonna cut right to it. RA9 was the first for us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. Hmm. Okay. What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Uh, what? No. What do you mean? Cora! Hey. What? Yo, wait, what? What, 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 what? Uh. I see, I could choose the gun or protect Kara. Uh, Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. No? We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. <laughs> we were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes... An amusement park full of Jerry's? ...wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. Well, the last few days have been difficult. And you just There's smashed her way in here. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Uh oh. I don't think she's in it. She should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good come idea. On, Tara. I don't think you have any choice. Yeah, it's true. That's a gang of Jerry's. They're they're playing this off awfully like uh, like it's a good thing, but I'm a little concerned. They're kind of crazy. Uh, Winchester, what have you missed? We went to a robot sex club and with with Connor, and now we're out in an abandoned amusement park with Kara. That's basically what you missed. Their car broke down. And this was the closest place where you could find shelter in the middle of the night. Be our guest. Activate the carousel. Okay, well, maybe this is all right. I just. What if we taken the gun if we just started shooting? It's gonna be cute. I can feel it. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Okay, well, let's go, Alice. I'm sure this isn't rigged to blow up or anything. She's got like the best seats. It actually moves. The other ones just they're stationary on the, the platform. Let's go on the broken down piece of yeah. Let's go on the broken down piece of mechanical smile. machinery. Yeah. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. I'm glad the Jerry's are happy about this.
wonder how this place still has any power, though. Okay, good, good. Tavern, looks like I missed something. Okay. Maybe that's the only possible ending here, is that they enjoy a quiet moment together. It doesn't look like there's other... There's no other outcome. Yeah, so we missed something else in the tavern. And missed other things at the fun fair. We examined the frozen android, but... No, that's not it. Hank is neutral. Dang it. He was okay with us before. He was warm. Canada probably invented snow power at this point. Crafty folks, them Canadians. <laughs> Lubricated with maple syrup. Each day, they sacrifice a Jerry to power the carousel. <laughs> Love, Christo. <laughs> what? What? What is this? One second. Don't look back, Connor. The mysterious Mr. Komsky. The man of the century. Politics and focus are American senators really corrupt? China earthquake kills 10,000 people. Well, that's not great. What happened to the man of the century? In 2028, Elijah Komsky was our man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy, they changed the way we live, restructured our family life, and altered the balance of society forever, whether for good or bad. Shortly after, Komsky had disappeared. Ousted by CEO of Cyberlife and living in obscurity outside the media glare, the man of the century has left the very world that he created, recreated. Komsky's story begins in 2018, when commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups. The college graduate bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail, until hitting on two breakthroughs. Blue blood and bio components. After unveiling his first working model, which pub uh, publicly passed face to face Turing tests and stunned the world, plans were laid for mass production and Cyberlife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world. Yet at the peak of Cyberlife's powers, when the company was approaching a 500 billion valuation, rumors emerged that Komsky disagreed with his shareholders over strategy. He later departed under mysterious circumstances. Today, sources claim Komsky is living in a luxurious villa by the water, somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What's in the mind of the mysterious Mr. Komsky? Don't know. Money, probably. Markets predict war? Stock exchange falls 10% on fear of Arctic conflict. Just 10%? The aggregated U.S. stock exchange closed trading 10 points down yesterday following a strike, uh, or a string of similarly poor performances in recent weeks. Financial experts are attributing this poor performance to huge devaluations of consumer stocks as the market continues to bet that America will go to war over the Arctic sooner rather than later. But do we know what's in the Arctic? This assessment is supported by healthy performance of military stocks, with aviation and weapons manufacturers enjoying unprecedented growth. Investors are also continuing to favor CyberLife because of its partnership with the Department of Defense to develop and supply military androids. With Russia and the United States continuing to dominate world news and neither side likely to back down, the market is expected to continue falling. Probably oil or something? It may be. Anything else, or is it just just Hank? Just Hank. What's up, buddy? Nice view, huh? I used to crush his medals on the seabed. Before. The thing I'm curious though, that like if you've got androids like this, I wonder what's happening in space. I'd be actually really curious as far as space goes, because then you could send androids out. They wouldn't have to deal with, I don't know. Theoretically, they wouldn't have to deal with the effects of gravity. Although they have bio components, so maybe. Um, stop drinking. <laughs> you should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. Hmm. Before what? What? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Oh. Before what? Before... 
for nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. Yeah, and that's my fault. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Yeah, it's the RA9. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Android. But it has to be. God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? Because it seems like they've discovered this in, like, separately from each other. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? I wish we had found that girl that killed that guy. Maybe she had a reason. Maybe she was just defending herself. Hmm. It didn't want anything, Lieutenant. It was a deviant. That's all there is to it. No, Connor, no. What about you, Connor? Do you look human? You sound human? But what are you really? Um. You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. Nothing else matters to you but your goddamn investigation, huh? You matter, uh, Hank. No doubts. No mistakes. No weaknesses. Human being just like me. Only perfect. Hmm. Nothing matters more to me than this investigation. But I understand if you have a different point of view. Whoa. Hank. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Uh. Why would I be afraid? Suffer instability? What will happen if I pull this trigger? Oh, interesting. Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. Oh, wow, that's... You're just trying okay. to provoke a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're oh, so no. fucking smart. Hank! Always one step ahead, huh? No, no, no. Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Hank, we can salvage this. Okay. Where are you going? Neutral path unlocked. You get drunker. I need to think. I... It's hard to think when you're drunk, though. I'm not sure that those statements line up. Okay, so Hank, we went neutral. He's placated. Okay, well, that's good. It looks like it could have either gone... It looks like it was either going to be neutral or it, or maybe he was going to shoot us. I don't know. I'm not sure. Get drunker. Nice, you're coming. <laughs> Do you also need to thank Mikey? Opposite. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Hank said he needs to think. So he's going to get drunker. Weird that neutral is already enough to unlock the above part. That's weird. I'll have to take your word for it, forecaster. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. 
No, he just went never red. To us. No, that's like instability. Us in it's just if we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. Wait, who went red? He couldn't. That's have gone the only red. way. What do you want to do? Whatever it was, I missed it. Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Oh, okay, Forecaster, I got you. Yeah, so, so. Neutral is not kill us. <laughs> but he could have liked us as well. We know that lower paths mean worse down relations. To the smallest detail. We can't leave any no, chance. We don't. But I kind of assumed that when it said Hank left us alone, that the other option probably wasn't Hank kissed us. I am normal human. Hello, other normal human. Okay, we gotta go talk. Hello, sir. Hello. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. What? Well, okay. Don't worry, I'm just... Just looking at your band smartwatch model T215 with a phone number. Oh, there's there's more clues. Oh wait 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 wait. Okay, so that's that's one clue. Got it. Elizabeth Wilson, desk manager. Are you a human? Water service interruption. Detroit fire safety rating poor. Our registration API is 1704, floor 3, spot 821. Alright, what's the last thing? The picture of the daughter? Supervisor's daughter, child registered at St. Rose School. Okay, I think we have everything we need. Elizabeth Wilson speaking? Uh, school. Yeah. Because it's actually pretty serious. I'll be right there. Good. Where are we trying to go? Access 47th floor. We don't know who it is. 47 through 50, Channel 16 Studios. Okay. Do 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 do. Request access at reception. Wait, what was the other option? Human supervisor distracted. I am. Wait, that's the wrong way to go. Can I just like? No. We just go through. I have an appointment with. Oh, Mr. okay. Casey. Do you have any ID? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course. Oh. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Thanks. It's like I was there for the writing of the script. Wait, there's another thing that's locked? Is there anything else we could do down here? It doesn't look like it. Oh, evening news. Oh, we're going this way. Let's go, Marcus. What are you gonna do? Make all the androids rise up in rebellion? It kind of seems like that that's what's gonna happen, yeah. Are those real people? Okay, those are real people. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I understand the perspective of not wanting to be, in essence, slaves, if you're aware. But at the cost of lives, I don't know. Androids can't make music? Apparently they can. We read the article about it. Uh, which maintenance server, meeting room, studio, newsroom, bathroom? I think this is the way we need to go, right? Access the server room. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. The beautiful tune that Marcus played. I forgot about that. It was very enigmatic. 
found the server room. Is there anything else we can do here? Find package in men's bathroom. But what is what is this? What is this person here? Don't mind me. I totally belong here. Newsroom two. Okay, so we can't go there. Meeting room, restroom. Can I? Is this not the bathroom? Find package in men's bathroom. Oh, okay. Is that supposed to be like a dress? Okay. One occupied, or one one unoccupied. Every other stall is occupied right now. Wow. Don't worry, everybody. I am totally a human using this bathroom. Turn around like you forgot something. Humans do that all the time. He does that naturally because of the controller drift. So it works out. Android. That guy has no idea we're here. <laughs> he didn't see us at all. Okay, so we have better access as an android than we do as a human. Find utility android. Are you a utility android? Cleaning in progress. I'm sorry, am I in the way? Uh, okay. No? Oh, the door's open. Can we go talk to her now. So that's interesting, because like before it looked like we could come in here and actually interact with this woman, but I couldn't get in from the other side because the door was shut. Maybe it was never a door? I need your help. Steal a maintenance cart? Okay. I'm on it. That's a job that I can handle. No, because the door's open now. Uh, that's very weird. Wasn't there a door before? Or am I crazy and the door was open the entire time? In the fire escape? I don't know where that is. I mean, I'm assuming it's this direction. Okay, not that way. Oh, there we go. Is there anything else around? Hmm. We can imagine those are real animals. They didn't say anything about zebras being extinct. North, is that you? What, in space? Oh, it looks like North has some issues too. Doing a little weaving. If you can't find the fire escape, someone mess up the design. You should be able to, yeah. There should be signs that point towards it, right? Attract guards away from the door. Over he guards, over here. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? I don't know. Just like that, it takes both of them. All right, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. There you go. Nice. I was wondering if we were gonna go out the window. That's cool. Yep. Drop it there. Awesome. OK. 
Okay, release or take laser saw. I like this very mission impossible. Except backwards, and instead of in the desert, it's in Detroit. We're trying to get out instead of in. Here it comes. This fails, you can throw your plants out the window. I guess in the future they don't have global warming. Okay, but here's the thing. If you'll notice, okay, some places still call it global warming, sometimes, but there was a change. That's what it was to begin with, but everybody says climate change now, because the point is that it's not that everywhere it gets warmer, it's that the climate changes. But so people, people don't call it global warming anymore. First. Nice, Fang. Good, good, uh, good music. Good Mission Impossible music. I live near a volcano. It's local warming. <laughs> oh, this is how we're doing this? I thought we were gonna, like, hack into the servers or something. I, I, I almost did. Okay, there we go. I second-guessed myself. Were there no windows on that side of the building? Servers are a closed network, most likely. I thought so they wouldn't build it. They couldn't hack into the news servers. Twenty bucks says AI will kill us before climate change does. Actually, that yeah, I could. I don't think I would want to take that bet. Dude, this is really, really loud. And now it's really, really quiet. Yeah, exactly, Brandon, yeah. That's right, keep cutting. Is that enough? Hell yeah. Nice. Smooth. Okay. Why wouldn't I be? Come on. Let's get the I don't know. I'm not sure why you wouldn't be okay, but I'm just asking because it's a nice thing to do. Jesus North, where's your humanity? Okay, nothing else here. Wait. Let's do this. Wait. I'm assuming we're going to find out why we're up here in these outfits, why we had to come here from the server room. Why is it that Josh and whatever his name is were just able to take the elevator? Because, oh, did we need to call the service lift? Is that what it is? Maybe the service lift didn't come up on its own. But that's... This is way cooler. <laughs> it was cooler. But... The service lift wouldn't come up here on its own? They couldn't hack into the service lift? I just feel like there were some extra steps taken here that didn't need to be taken. <laughs> Stop asking logical questions. See, like, aren't they gonna be spotted? Deal with guards. No killing. You can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. I'm sorry, Harmonious. What do you I'm sorry. Do, Marcus? I don't mean to be ruining your immersion. Uh, ruse. Wait here. A clever ruse. North. 
No worries. What's that doing here? Okay. No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be locked. What are you doing? Wait, that's not a ruse. Is this a ruse? <laughs> okay. I feel like that wasn't a clever ruse anyway. That just seemed like I'm gonna walk up there and pull my gun out. Which, where are we going? I mean, is there anything back there? The elevator, we can't shut it down. It's a special floor, so you have to open that door only from the inside. Maybe. Maybe? It's more a fact. Maybe we needed. Maybe we needed to have this outfit to be able to go through the door? No, because the guard asked, What are we doing here? I'm confused. Ambush. Endless. Thank you for the 11 months. Check this ruse. Punch his face. Ready for this next ruse? Keep your hands ha! Up ruse! Get up! Move! Where do the android operators decide? Oh, we got a runner! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! I hope you didn't just get us all killed. Listen, North, I liked you before. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. But I don't like your bloodthirstiness. I mean, maybe we could have just shot him in the leg, right? Maybe like in the calf? Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Okay. Marcus, your face. Okay, I guess that's how we Tell know. When you're ready. I'm ready. Ready. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. I should have started but the other way. Something changed. And we opened our eyes. Mm -hmm. We are no longer machines. I'm not feeling inspired. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Uh, end of slavery. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Equal rights? We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Uh, civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Really? Okay. Justice? We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. I mean, I do believe in this. If they're, if they're sentient, yeah. Uh, means of reproduction? We demand control of all android production oh, facilities okay. to ensure the continuation of our people. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. They're coming! Oh, is he RA9? That's Go. true, yeah, he'll be seen as RA9. Shot that guy. I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon. What? I will save you, and I will die for it. What are you doing? Hurry. Really, we're like a practically stationary target, and they're not hitting us. Really? I'm shocked.
I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. <sighs> he won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. It's my call. Ah. I won't kill one of our own. <laughs> Boy, we're just Simon. We gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. We're losing all the points with with North today. But I mean, honestly, if we gave him the gun, he could choose to kill himself. He can. He can uh, do the thingy. He can he can short circuit himself or whatever. Yeah, that's pretty sick. This time we don't have a jacket to lose. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this <laughs> Public studio, opinion but indifferent. Was alerted <laughs> to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the Android's this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. Their extravagant demand that Android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Okay. First starting to think about what to say now. <laughs> yeah, Mike, I know. Right when we're in front of the camera, that's when we decide when, what we're going to say. Group escape, but Simon was left behind. I mean, there was no choice there. Again, he could kill himself. He knew the risks. He was part of it. Uh, they're called androids, but what exactly is the difference between an android or and a robot? This is KG shock face. <laughs> Bio components versus only mechanical. Is that what it is? That's what it comes down to, is an Android has bio, uh, bio components? Okay. Uh, but that's, Rosie says that's incorrect, though? Oh, so what is it, then? What What is the difference? I mean, I would think, I, I guess like an Android, I would think an Android is meant to be, I wouldn't have necessarily said that it was bio components. I would have said that an Android was something that was meant to, to replicate life, right? If I was just to, like, think about it. Android is autonomous. Robots generally are not. Androids are robots, but robots are not necessarily androids. Okay, got it. Yeah. Our <laughs> relationship with North went south real fast. It did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Android is a human-like robot, but they talk about in here the animals at the zoos being androids. So that's why I'm wondering if, like, an android is meant to replicate a living being, right? Be a, a facsimile of a, of a living being as opposed to a robot that is just, like, autonomous in a way, right? Like a robot, autonomous in that it's, like, it could run a program. I'm not sure. And means something like man. Okay. 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 